Baseball has been very special to me. Obviously, I do it for a livelihood as a profession, and um, you know, it all started here uh, in this town. Um, you know, not necessarily in this gym, although we did do workouts here. But uh, you know, it just means a lot just to be able to bring the community together. I didn't want to really make this about you know myself and you know accomplishments or anything like that. That's the last thing I'm worried about. I wanted to make it about bringing the guys together, uh, men and women, just to. You know, raise money just to provide extra support for youth baseball and also the high school team for guys going to college. And um, it's just such a great uh, experience today. I'm just so glad that people came out for this event. Well, I came up with the idea. Originally, I wanted to do a golf tournament since golf is one of my favorite, like, current hobbies. But, uh, you know, we were able to, um, I was able to talk to Sam Fold, uh, who plays with the Oakland Athletics, and he does a wiffle ball tournament for diabetes. And, you know, I know how big this uh, gym is. I was like, man, we could fit four wiffle ball fields in here, I think. And sure enough, it worked out. And uh, so we just decided, Pete Tormey and I decided that we're gonna try to put it together and got um, uh, Rich McClone involved because he used to do tournaments. And um, then all of a sudden, Chris Fitzgerald jumped in and Mark Kasperzik and uh, it just, you know, everything just kind of, you know, worked out itself. It's been great. The, the idea to do the wiffle ball classic was, I wanted people to come in, play their favorite childhood game, um, you know, in a family friendly atmosphere, even though it's competitive, but um, just for them to put in 25 bucks and then see batting cages being put up, kids going to college, knowing that they put, they had a hand in that. Um, that's what it means the most uh, to me today, so I'm glad we're able to do it for sure. We're looking to make this an annual event, possibly expand to different age groups. It's just tough being the first year. We didn't know how this was going to go, how many teams we could actually hold. We only had eight hour window because um, basketball has to come into practice. So. Um, we really wanted to make sure we did everything the right way the first year. Not that we're not going to do it the right way the next year, but we wanted to build trust. And you know, if, if the school proves and everyone's on board, the town had a good time while being here, maybe we'll continue to do it and make it a yearly event, see how long it goes.